This is the all new Giant Trans Advanced Fresh for 2022. Now what makes this bike particularly cool is that it features Fox Live Valve technology. Live Valve is Fox's most advanced electronically controlled suspension system. So Giant have gone all in with the new Fox factory electronically controlled suspension. We're going to see this across the spectrum in Giant, not only on regular bikes, but also on the e-bikes. This stuff is super, super advanced, but all the hard work's already been done for us. It's extremely user friendly and very, very adaptive on the trail. We really believe in electronic suspension. We think we're going to be seeing a lot more of it this year and in years to follow. And so today what we want to do is a bit of a guide for you of how to set this gear up, how to get your head around how it works, and really how this system is going to make you a faster, more competent rider on the trails. So today we've got a special guest out here to join us on the trails, one of the head technicians from Fox Factory Australia. We've got Finn. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Yeah, great to be here with you guys. All right, so Finn, let's say we've maybe seen a little bit about Live Valve online, but we haven't fully got our heads wrapped around it. What are we looking at here? What does it correlate to on the trail? So Fox's Live Valve is their most advanced electronically controlled suspension system for mountain bikes, featuring sensors on the fork, the controller, and the rear triangle. It adapts and analyzes the terrain at up to 1,000 times per second. So one of the very first things that I've noticed personally through getting a bit of time on this bike is the balance between efficiency and compliance. The suspension is doing a whole lot of thinking for me and is making the ride far more enjoyable. This is both saving a little bit of uh, energy in my legs, but at the same time, it's sort of taking a lot of the, the sharper sort of harsh hits off while still mate, remaining uh, a bit of a stiffer suspension setup than I would normally uh, like to run. So Finn, am I right in thinking that all of the technology and everything that's going on here, effectively in a nutshell when it boils down to it, it's going to make the bike effectively locked out so you're getting maximum amount of trail traction and you're using the maximum amount of efficiency out of your body so it's not exerting through the suspension, you're losing that energy. So it's locked out, but then when you come to a section where you need suspension, it's open in the instrument eye. You don't even notice that it's switched open and all of a sudden it just plows like a magic carpet right through that section. Is that? more or less how it works? Yeah, exactly, JT. It analyzes the terrain to figure out when it should be open and when it shouldn't be open. So most of the time when you're riding, the live valve system will be locked out until it senses an impact. This can be adjusted from the mode selection button on the battery itself. So Fox has five modes of bump sensitivity threshold. You've got mode one, which is very compliant while still maintaining a little bit of efficiency, ranging from one to five, five being the most efficient ride possible. So Finn, in terms of picking one of the one to five modes uh, that you want to ride with each time, is it the sort of thing you get it out of the car, you turn the system on and then you, you adjust it with every bit of trail that comes up or is it a, a set and forget system? How's it work? Yeah, so you can actually set your mode selection to whatever setting you want, one, five, three, and you can forget about it for the entire ride. If you hit a bump, if you hit a jump, it'll be, it'll work out, it'll do the work for you. All right, so Finn, I've just got my new live valve equipped bike. How do we set this, uh, this suspension up? Yeah, so Blake, all you need to do is calibrate the bike, which is activating the sensors. After that, you set your suspension up like you normally do with your sag. Now, one thing in particular about live valve, you need to have the system turned off before you set your sag. After that, it's as simple as sag and ride. One of the cool features about live valve is its Bluetooth connectivity. How does, uh, how does that work? Yeah, so Fox has developed a brand new app that you can connect to the bike. The features of the app include changing your bump sensitivity threshold from one to five, calibration from the app, user suspension settings from the app, pairing it to the, to the bike. So another really cool feature about the Live Valve app is it's got a bike profile section. So you can log all your fork settings, shock settings, tire pressures, and there's a note section in there as well. So you can say on X date, I lowered my handlebars five millimeters and you're not going, oh, what trail was that at? So it's just a really good way to document all the changes that you're making to your bike so you can keep track of them. Now, one thing I want to ask you about here, when we start seeing batteries on bikes, I know a lot of people get a little bit daunted. I want to ask you, what is the battery life? How long does it take to charge? How much trail time are we going to get out of a single charge? And then the other thing I want to ask you, because I know you don't want to be left out in the woods. What happens if you run out of juice halfway through a ride? Um, you know, are you stuffed? Can you still get home? What's involved in the process of the battery on the uh, live valve system? Yeah, so the live valve battery app is actually really smart. You don't have to worry about it. You're going to get around two hours of charging time. That will give you to 16 to 20 hours of actually riding time. Now you can charge the battery in or outside the bike, it's up to you. 
and if you ever think that you're going to run low on battery the system will automatically detect that it's low on battery and keep the suspension open it doesn't matter if the batteries run out of charge you can continue riding it it'll just be in the open mode so here at fox factory australia we're really excited to be partnering with giant for the new live valve bikes that they're going to be putting on most of their models we're ready to support riders with live valve products so there you have it, Fox Live Valve. We've only just started scraping the surface of some of the details and potentials of this exciting new system. If you want to check out heaps more information about the technology, jump onto ridefox.com and search for Live Valve.